When I first met John, or even before that, I'm sure I told you this, one of the reasons that got me sucked into ancient Egypt was I did a video game where I had to do the graphics for this video game that was set in ancient Egypt. And so I had to find all of these old Mazzini and different uh, blueprints and recreate these temples in 3D. And this thing here, this little bastard here, um, here, this thing was a nightmare to model. And I just really got mad at it. And I got resentful of it and kept thinking, why is this even here? What a bunch of idiots. Why would they even put that here? And then after you did your research about the ventricles, the ventricles are exactly that shape that's swept. And you notice up here too, by the way, this thing exactly hits at the major fissures of the brain and the corpus callosum stretches exactly so the two humps, not only the mounds themselves represent the hemispheres, but the space in between is exactly where the corpus callosum falls. The um, olfactory glands are yeah. literally centered in the two pillars. And, uh, and then of course, if you look at the brain from the other view, Gary's remarkable finding with the uh, eye of Horus correlation. Uh, but you want to know why it's even more interesting about that, the wings and the um, ventricles, that's pretty awesome. 